Okay, so I just so, oh, no, just hang out. We're yeah, we're gonna open the meeting. You can be on TV. You can sit down for a couple of yeah, minutes. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you're come up on you're ready to our search site that we have. Here you go. If you have the system, it goes. I used to do IT, but so. AV. <laughs> there is a hospital. Name. Rule of thumb is it plugged in. It actually happened. My boss came in, his mouse was broken, wouldn't work, and I'm like, is it plugged in? Because this was back when they had like cable rooms. And he's just like, yes. For <laughs> not. What do you think, Pete? Do you need help? I'm sure, it's on now. Oh, it's yeah, right. recording, right? <laughs> He's been out since Thursday. Been it's raining. <laughs> this is really nice. It's All right. <clears throat> Good evening, and uh, welcome to the Weathersfield Planning and Zoning Commission meeting of Tuesday, June 18th, 2019. With the uh, clerk, help me with the roll call. Uh, Chairman Harley. I am here. Clerk Roberts here. Mr. Hughes, no. Mr. Oichel. Here. Mr. Hammer. Here. Mr. Humicki. Here. Mr. Dean. Here. Mr. Allard. Here. Mr. Silver is not. Mr. Edwards is not. Ms. Antoniak. Here. Ms. Murphy. Here. All righty. <clears throat> so my count has it at nine and we're all participating. So first order of business, business is item 3.1, a public hearing for application number 2014-19-Z. I make a motion we take item 3.2 out of order and go first. Very good. Thank you. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, 3.2, a public hearing application number 2016-19-Z, Vito Pizzeria, Pizzeria, seeking a special permit in accordance with section 5.2.F.2 for outside dining at 673 Silas Dean. Would the applicant join us at the microphone? Sure. Introduce yourself and then uh, take a few minutes and describe what you're up to. Okay, my name is uh, Carol Mafucci and I'm co-owner of Vito's uh, Pizza in Weathersfield. And what we'd like to do is add some outdoor seating to the front part of the restaurant. Um, my customers have been requesting it and I think it would look really nice too. So um, I've supplied some pictures, um, some plans for the seating. And I was working with a company called um, Fresh Start Palette. My brother used uh, the company in Hartford to do his outside patio. And they create uh, furniture and um, things out of pallets, so they reuse pallets. And um, it's a um, nonprofit company, and they, um, they employ co uh, recovering addicts. But you can see the picture, how nice um, it came out his outside patio in Hartford. That's what it would look like. And that's, uh, I know I have to have a barrier, um, I guess from the driveway to the tables and I was thinking of using that. He, you know, he came out and he measured and everything. So um, it, it'll look really nice. I think it's gonna look really nice. Um, Questions? You know, I've talked to the paint store next door also and they were, on board completely. They said if I wanted to put a couple more tables in front, I, you know, they were uh, okay with that. Any, any questions? So the, uh, the lighting store, they're okay with having uh, two tables across them? Is that, um, is that what I may, may or not do that now okay. that the, um, it's, it's a possibility. I just talked to Rich and I haven't talked to him yet. I haven't been able to find him, but, um, but the paint store was fine with it. So but I will ask him before I put anything in front. Obviously I can't. 
do that without his permission. So. What's the uh, width of the sidewalk in front of? Seven, it's seven feet. Seven feet, mm -hmm. and how much with the, of that seven feet with the tables? And, and the tables I picked out, um, you can see a picture of them in there. They're not huge, they're small mm -hmm. tables. It takes up 28 inches. And I think the width of the um, barriers, was it, what was it, John? I think it was, here, it's right here. I think it was 15 and 15 and a half. And what's nice about the barriers, um, they have planters, so I can actually plant flowers in the top of it. So, so when you've got your... I think all the dimensions are in there. Okay, yeah. I haven't... Uh, yeah, it's in, I think, the materials you just handed out, which mm -hmm. I have not had a okay. chance to review. Mm -hmm. uh, so what I'm in, most interested in is how much room will there be for pedestrians to walk around mm -hmm. uh, this area that you know, are not necessarily going into your restaurant, but are in the, this little shopping center and right. walking from store to store yeah, or whatever. Yeah, we were measuring yesterday, yeah, so. 48 inches. 48 inches? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That. So the tables are 28, and the, uh, the, the planter area is how much? Uh, 15 and a half. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay, that's the way, and the way he designed it was uh, the tables and chairs would be here, and then there'd be the walk space, and then the planter would be right along um, the oh, edge okay. of the sidewalk in front of the driveway. So people could freely walk you know, through there. People are walking on the inside of the dividers. So, so what what I think you're going to have to comply with is ADA requirements and being able to get around it. Okay. Um, so I can say I'm not an expert on it, but I was thinking when I looked at the picture that you were expecting people to be able to walk around the outside of the barrier, still on the sidewalk. Well, I had, that's what I thought, and then the the man from the uh, Ed Johnson who's from Weathersfield, he's the one who said put it here and then that way people can just walk through there and there'll also be openings it's not going to be a complete wall so there'll be i have another drawing he gave me but it had openings so people could you know yeah they, and they actually jut out which <clears throat> you wouldn't get four feet of clearance <coughs> as they jut out unless the sidewalk does well the, the way the sidewalk works. it goes like this and then it gets it gets very wide as it goes around the to oh. the you so know the, the sidewalk does that the okay. sidewalk gets wider because where my emergency exit is uh, it goes in. The building kind of goes in like this, so it's actually more space right there. You know, I actually I, I get that. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I, mis I was misunderstanding what the picture was telling me. Oh, okay. I get it. Okay. I get it. <laughs> so, it, in front of your main entrance, the tables take up how much of the seven feet? It gets back in. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty-eight. Yeah, and it's not going to be blocking any entrances. So a little over two. Which I already talked to the fire marshal about that. Yeah. Uh, have you talked to the building official at all? No. No. No, I figured I'd start here, because I also have to talk to the liquor commissioner, too. So that's my next step after this. I think it's the handicap provisions that are important, Mr. Chairman, mm -hmm. I, I believe. And, and I suspect that you know we're not going to be able to resolve exactly whether it's ADA compliant sitting here. So I guess in my mind, I'm thinking we'll just talk conceptually and let them work it out with town staff and town staff will make sure that whatever they come up with they meet all the requirements of the various right. okay. we could put it that you know that ADA compliance is a condition of the, any right. approval right Rich in your in your write-up you said six tables and 16 chairs but this only really shows five I know tables. that's that's the most I would be able to put there I just okay. figured I you know it probably won't be that many but okay and what what did you have in mind for like hours of the day and seasons that you well were obviously um not winter, in the winter and not when i would closed. not be able to do it in the winter yeah. right <laughs> so, yeah. um but i would talk to the landlord about that as soon as it gets cold out you know i can move everything these are all movable but i can um the landlord said i can you know screw them into the sidewalk for you know if, if i have to um, otherwise I, they come on wheels too so i could move them and, uh, you know, was, the storm in the basement. 
Was the idea of the planters to kind of respond to the fire marshal's comment about barriers for cars not sort of? I think I talked of... to Denise at the zone. She said I have to have some kind of a barrier. It doesn't have to be something like that. It could be just a simple curb, like a cement curb. But I thought this looked really nice. Mm -hmm. I think this will have a nice appeal, you know. It does look really nice. Right. It, do, it's, it looks mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I get where I was going with that was would these parking spaces still be usable with that in it, oh, absolutely. or would they be yes. kind of consumed by that? Because no, it's, you not, know, going, it's not going to go into the parking lot, so it's yeah. not going to. Not gonna yeah, because I mean, what you're showing us tonight kind of gives a better idea of what it was than what we got last week. I mean, mm -hmm. I was getting the idea that there were going to be like, you know, cement blocks blocking three of the parking spaces no, to keep people no, I, from. No, I, I had considered curb. doing something where I could take a space from the parking lot itself and build, um, you know, like a little outdoor area, but the landlord wasn't on board for that, so. Understandable, yeah. <laughs> and I think you've got plenty of room there, uh, Rich. Um, yeah. I, back I, up, I mean, the parking lot's wide at that point. But yeah, there's, and there's parking right in the back, so. too, so there's... I guess the one thing you alluded to was talking to liquor control. I mean, if you're going to be serving drinks out there, I think you have to have a barricade or a barrier of some Okay, which is type. probably why my brother has the one. Yeah, it's like, built. I can't remember whether it's 30 or 36 inches or something like that okay. to kind of run uh, around yeah. the area within which drinks are being served. Right. So I probably will have to have something. So Yeah. I but I, so. I really liked his um, barriers. I like the way they came out. And I, and I like the idea of the company, too. So. Mm -hmm. Does he does he serve alcohol in the oh, yeah. picture? So that must be compliant with whatever. Yes. The... Well, he told my brother told me first you have to get zoning approval and right. then you have to get the to liquor, liquor control. So. What would be the the days of the week that you would would this be seven days a week? Or? I'm open seven days a week. And for it would business. okay. And how late at night until do you? I'm close? not open past ten o'clock, and that's on the weekends. Okay. So. January and February. <laughs> well, no, I guess I could get heaters out there. <laughs> And are you, are you planning to staff that. it with whatever existing staff yeah. members you have? Yeah. You're not mm -hmm. adding staff no. or anything for this? No, it's just it's something nice to customers. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't want to sit outside on a nice night? And, right. You know, the customers were asking. And so I thought, well, let me see what, what I can do. Did you say you're going to screw down the table legs? No, the, um, the no, barriers. The mm -hmm. barriers can mm -hmm. be the attached barriers. to the okay. sidewalk. Yeah. Maybe Peter, do you have any other? Yeah, if I have to attach them, if I, it just makes it more secure. But uh, the landlord said that was fine, so, you know. But then I can't, you know, obviously when it's winter and I have to remove them for plowing and shoveling and things like that. Tony, I just want to know if Peter had any other comments from support staff. No, we have been out there. Uh, she, uh, she did consult with the fire marshal and yes. uh, he reviewed the plan with you, mm -hmm. um, and he's he said, okay with it. So that was one of our uh, concerns. Um, I like the idea of approving this um, and let staff kind of work out some of the details. The, um, there may be, in order to maintain the width, there may be the scenario where the planters have to be on the outside of the curb, like a curb stop would be, so that there's enough. So as long as you're okay conceptually with that, we can work out all of those uh, details maybe as, uh, as, the, as they go forward with the state. If, you, if, if, if the barriers are on the outside of the curb, then the seating typically, I think, is next to the barriers and the walkway may be between the building and the seating for the pedestrians. Right? Sure. There's a, yeah, there's a couple of different scenarios like that, depending on what works best. Yeah. That makes sense to leave it to work out. I would still probably consider at least a curb stop in front of it, even if you're going to put it up on the sidewalk, only because it's, it's made of wood. And <laughs> People are bad at parking, like right. myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So just something to at least preserve the look of it, because then it becomes a hassle for you to have to continue. Right. The way the, the driveway comes in here, and then the sidewalk is up here. Sure, but the bumpers are even higher. Than right. That, so. I know, and they can't. They, yeah, right. That's possible. So, so like, I could still get the cement um, barriers. Yeah. So that if they did the curb stops, then we just need to make sure that the spaces are long enough. Right. Yeah, I think the I think the the driveway width is extra wide, so you have some room. It is, to... yeah. Yeah, because it bumps down. Yeah, that's right. Yep, right. Carol, what took you so long to get this idea? <laughs> Where you been? No, that's a good question. <laughs> Where you been? I wish I thought about it sooner. I thought about it last year, 
and then I just never followed up. But, but then a cu couple customers were saying, you know, you really need to get some seating, and it would be really nice. And, I, and I'm like, you know what? Let's just do it. You I know? think it's a compliment to the whole plaza. It'll yes. Curb so, appeal right from Silas Exactly. I think Did you consider really the nice. back of back of the building? I considered it, but with all the trucks and deliveries and things that come in and out of there, the dumpsters are back there. I would have to do so much work to make it look really attractive. Uh, yeah. I did consider it. So you might be before us two years from now, maybe because this is such a success. Well, that's what one of my customers said. Why don't you just get approval for the front and the back? <laughs> but I didn't. Ha I didn't have a you know plan. Um, I would think Rings End probably has a lot of supply coming and going all the time, so that would right. be a concern. And I do too. Deliveries and tr you know the tractor trailers are backing up, so it would you know it would be difficult. Plus, during yeah, business hours might yeah, be different. The dumpsters, dumpsters are, are kind of closed a, back there. Yeah. Pardon me? She also said the dumpsters aren't enclosed across the whole plaza. Yeah, oh, they're we, they're we, in the back, up, yeah, but yeah, they're yeah, still there. That doesn't look that great. It's, it's exactly, quite a it's not in the back of the building. Is not really attractive looking. And that's also the hot side. It's very hot. That's that's a good point. You wouldn't be able to sit out there during the day because it's really hot. J January, February. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Yeah. Only. I like winter dining. Yeah. <laughs> you can tell. Huh? But the front is nice because there already is an overhang and mm -hmm. the yeah. sun is on the other side of the building, so it's not beating down on you. So it's it's nice. nice Peter, has this gone through the facade program at all in the past? This plaza? No, this the uh, the improvements um, to the building were done before I got here by uh, my Mr. Knightitz. Um, Mr. Knightitz hasn't applied for anything or considered any facade. No, nope. especially with the back because it's yeah, probably an acre and a half. 1978 facade improvements are still perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's just underutilized in the whole back section of that, going all the way back up to the uh, the building to the rear. So it just seems like that's highest and best use isn't being utilized to its fullest capacity yet, in my opinion. I think this is a plum for the plaza, so. Any other questions or comments to the applicant? If not, somebody care to make a motion? I move to close the hearing. Oh, second. That's a good point. Is there anybody in the public who wants to talk? I, I did send out all the forms. <laughs> 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 no one's opposing it. That's good. That's so usually a good sign. Yeah. We have a motion to close. Second. Did second. I hear a second? Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? And aye. I would move to approve the application with the stipulations or conditions that the specific placement of the seating and the barriers be reviewed and approved by relevant town staff, which I think probably includes the building official and the fire marshal and anyone else who may be relevant to that and that prior to service of any alcohol that the applicant, uh, you know, get whatever approval or confirmation from the State Department of Consumer Protection, you know, just to make sure they do it in compliance with their liquor license. I'll second the motion with an addendum including the ADA compliant per town staff mm -hmm. and the town oversight and uh, for six tables up to 16 patrons. I, I accept that uh, modification. Thanks. Anything else that anybody thinks? I, would, be I would add that, that, uh, that the uh, uh, plan that's ultimately approved uh, by the town staff that we're delegating this authority to does comply with all applicable safety regulations. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll accept that, Joe. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. We pray the motion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Excellent. Okay, good luck. All right, thank good you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Okay. I think we had nine. Oh, great, right? thank you. Great. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> so we have uh, minutes. Thank you. Minutes, minutes. Well, do we want to open and continue the other hearing? Yeah, let's, that, that'll give us. Um, oh, that's right. We didn't really do. Okay. It'll save us having to re advertise it. Yeah. All right. So going back to item 3 1, a public hearing for application 2014 19 Z. Um, we're just going to continue it. Could I have a motion to continue it? So moved. Second. Thank you, Tom. All those in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? 
All right. So, Peter, what exactly does that mean? So we continued it. Do they have a certain period of time to come back to us? So we have uh, 30 days, I think it is, by the statutes to keep it open. They can grant, we can grant an extension, so it's just a matter of the clock um, running. Uh, based on my conversation with them today, they may not be ready for your next meeting based on uh, my check-in with them today. So um, that, that'll give us the opportunity to kick it over to the second meeting in July if need be. Um, they're having problems with the site plan and the survey, getting it uh, released by the engineering firm. So uh, the firm that's doing the plan for them. I don't know if in the motion <laughs> you should, I think, because then you, so it's clear. So what is the next one? July second. Just, just for the record, I think we should say continued to the July second meeting. What day of the week is that? It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Okay. Yeah, it's a weird week with the July fourth on Thursday. Right. Okay. Yeah. Are we, are we going to have both meetings right. then in July? We'll see. Well, if there's nothing else. There is one other thing for the July 2nd meeting. Um, didn't make it under the pending because it came in. Um, is it good? I, I'll leave that to you. <laughs> I, I don't like to make those kind of quality decisions for people. But I mean, is, is it worth putting on pants for, I guess? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's July 2nd, so you can all wear shorts if yeah, you want. Right. <laughs> Clearly not impressed with putting agenda. Right? <laughs> exactly. This first agenda so, item is next to or yes. next to the existing used car. It'll be to the south of the south towards the Newington side, yes. Yep. All right. Shall we do minutes? Motion to approve. Thank you. Second. No edits, three. George? Well, I yeah, but if they're all those in favor say aye. Slightly, yeah, I'm <laughs> Which one, one George? Come on, really I want to know. All those in favor say aye. 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 All righty. Um, shall we talk about Lucky Lose? What is this? Yeah, uh, other matters? Can, Mr. Chairman, let me ask a question. Now, uh, are any of the legal people? The minutes don't have to be absolutely perfect as long as you understand what they're saying. And if a word is slightly wrong, but, it, you know, everybody understands what it is. Uh, yeah. It yeah. just needs a typo correction. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. Yeah, or okay. you can and submit it, and we can just can correct, correct it. it in the final set that say yeah. it was yeah. official. Correct. I mean, if it, if they ever needed a verbatim transcript, we would hire somebody to do that. But since they're nothing oh, that's appealed, so they go in like this, and yeah. somebody to check that whenever a legal a court case sure. comes up on it. Yep. Yeah, yeah, but I think if right. you have like you noticed a typo or somebody's name was spelled wrong, you might as well submit it because it's right. nothing that's changing the substance or the... Or the so it's substance-oriented, and as long as people understand it. Yeah, I mean, if, if, you, if we missed a condition or something a little more critical, obviously, that's much more important. But if oh, it's yeah. just a typo or mis, you know, misspelling or whatever it might be, that's, those are not big. Uh, okay. I wouldn't worry about those too much. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought. Yep. Thank you. So... Uh, Correspondence? Yep. So you uh, received a uh, letter June 13th, 2019 from uh, T.J. Donahue, Esquire, regarding the matter of Lucky Lou's Bar and Grill, 222 Main Street. Um, so uh, we continue uh, to um, work with that issue. Um, what do you mean work with her? Uh, work with her, get, um, make sure we understand. We had to go back. Um, there was some, uh, if you recall, at the last meeting, uh, there was a disagreement between her and I in terms of what's been transpiring. So we went back um, and just, you know, I, I won't get into all the details, but uh, there was a letter from both attorneys agreeing on the, the measures that needed to be taken, um, which is what I told which, you. Was which, it the case when she left? Correct. So things like that that we've been okay, continuing so both to. attorneys agreed to. Yes, that that first measure with yeah, the vinyl. Do something to follow through on the measure. Correct, and we've continued to uh, talk to her. She uh, has been continuing to email with us. I don't yet know that there has been uh, a documented uh, violation of the noise ordinance by the police department since uh, at any point this year. So we're we asked for a police report. So these are the kinds of things that we've been um, doing, um, and. Uh, 
the town manager is uh, efforting a, another meeting with her and or attorney if, if he wants to be there. Um, but this is correspondence um, basically um, you know, reiterating that they would like uh, Lou, Lucas to uh, fully comply with the toy, noise ordinance and the special permit. Um, they are hopeful that uh, if he's implemented the recommendations, they will be effective. Um, so they're just basically um, reiterating um, their position that they demand that he comply. And if not, um, and this, if this continues, there may be future actions by, uh, by him on behalf of uh, uh, the neighbor, and uh, we certainly uh, understand that and are continuing to um, communicate with her and with Lou. We met with Lou and his attorney um, okay. last week to once again reiterate this. The attorney's back. Uh, Lucas and his, has his attorney, and, you know, she has her attorney, so we've been, um, we haven't discussed yet, you know, getting all of them in a room. I mean, at this point, not be uh, terribly productive, but nevertheless, this, this item may be back. Uh, oh, in, yeah. in front of you. That's if, good. I, yep. Doing our job with an applicant is fine, but having her come back and yell at us for the second or third time in the last couple of years uh, and allow, with a loud voice, even my hearing goes, is, uh, picks her up. So you heard it loud and, and clear uh, is what I you're saying. no yes. problem picking her up. Okay. And I'd rather not see her here again, so and, uh, unless she's here to resolve it well that, that remains to be seen it may it may end up um, you know because our position both the town manager and myself and the zoning officer so we have no uh, authority to modify no, any of the conditions so if we're going down that road that's ultimately right. a decision that this commission has to make and we can't make it we can continue to uh, you know monitor and enforce the situation but uh, what she wants to do in terms of shutting him down, right. we can't the, do. Are the police uh, cooperating with you? Uh, I, I think the police, um, you know, I, I don't know that she has actually called the police uh, in the last few uh, weekends to have them come out and do a noise reading. Uh, the noise readings that were re referenced were taken by her, which I don't think would be defensible. No. Um, so until such time as the police, uh, per the ordinance, take those readings uh, and provide them to us. Um, Has I, the police had any complaints at all other than this? I know one? they've received calls. I don't know that um, when they got there that there was, I think some of the officers, when they do arrive, the music is either off or um, um, they don't, you know, they, they were taking a break or whatever it was. So we've asked for all of those reports so that we can understand you know what's been been transpiring with the police department this that, year that so. might be helpful for yes future meetings. definitely sure. it, yeah uh, one other side issue on that one is the car parked on the lawn down there we spoke with fast? luke we spoke well, with they, lucas i don't like seeing that no nope. and i don't live down there like some people here but nope. you know i see it too much when i am down there and as i said at the uh, last meeting um there is a, an ordinance about parking on the snow shelf and there's a zoning ordinance right, about parking sure on lawns so uh when we met with uh mr kiriakis we basically uh reiterated that um you know that's uh, something he needs to manage he would he's willing to have um no parking uh, signage um installed on the lawn um try and might, curb might that be behavior idea because there's fence posts out there for the old sign yep. that are kind of derelict yep and, and or and that's the town's responsibility and or may we may put friendly notices for the first couple of nights that look this is the front lawn this is not a parking spot and uh continued right. violation will get tickets the flooding down in the corner that uh he's about? he's talking to the public works uh, folks about that um i'm not sure there's an easy solution Imagine there isn't. No, so there there's no structured there's there. no structured drainage. He would be then draining off into other people's. So I, 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 as I say, I don't know what the ultimate solution of that is. Right. So. Peter, just but it has nothing to do with the noise. I, I agree 100 percent with what George said about the parking. I think, but my question is under the, so under the ordinance, does that give the police the ability to ticket? the cars themselves or do they ticket the owner of the restaurant yeah that, that's a that was a good question that we had because it's technically our property so um we asked the uh the leaseholder to uh take the lead on that but he also explained to us the nature of the problem he doesn't know whose cars they are in order to find out whose cars they are he'd have to make some sort of 
you know, announcement. So um, we're going to try some. Um, the ordinance, the, not the zoning reg, but the ordinance may allow you to just take it to cars. Uh, the ordinance is specific to the snow shelf. Which is what they're. If they're on the lawn, it, it's oh, not. Oh, yeah. I see what you're so, so it's a okay. two so edge kind of thing. The town could put signs up that just say no parking violators will be towed and ticketed. And that may discourage people. And from I think that's one of the th one of the things we're going to but do. So I, I guess um, I would just say apart from violating the rules and the regs, I think it looks awful. And on top of it, it's probably not great for those, you know, 100 plus year old tree roots that all these cars are parking on as well. On the other front, you can make progress with all the parties, um, but I guess I would just say I think it's gone on too long in terms of the operator not agreeing to it. But at the end of the day, if, if the neighbor brings a lawsuit, I think that's bad for everybody because she spends resources. The town has to spend resources with a lawyer. Everybody has to spend resources, and I don't think anybody should be in that position. So I really hope that it can be worked out. Um, yeah, I think it'll be worked out either way, um, and you guys may end up being, you know, the arbiter of uh, what that compromise or or final decision is going to be. So that's fine. That's what we're here to yep. do, and yep. sooner the better. Any other topics? No. No. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Question about something, but I can't remember what it is now. <laughs> I'll we'll entertain a motion to adjourn, please. Motion to adjourn. Second. All right. All right. Anyone opposed? <laughs>